Pisces, how are we doing? I did pull a oracle spread for you to get a little bit more detail about what I'm doing or what you're doing or what we're talking about rather. I feel like something here that was a curse is going to be turned into a blessing. In the recent past, mind you, I don't know any Pisces off the top of my head. Uh, one I used to work with a long time ago, I haven't seen in a while, but other than that, I don't know who I'm talking to. There's a lot of this realignment stuff, you have it twice. So in the recent past, I don't know if somebody here is married or in some type of contract that they tried to heal. Like, let's just realign it. Leave everything in the past in the past. You know, there was some insecurities there. There's no way. It's going to take time to heal anything like that. I don't know what was going on here. It does kind of feel... It was some type of violation of contract, whether it was marital or business or family. It, you just don't do that. Like, where do they do that at? I feel like somebody is trying to make it right by leaving the past in the past. Trying to heal the situation, absolutely. But, uh, you know, here's what I'll say about that. Pisces, old habits die hard. And that's what I'm seeing here in the current energy. It's like a leopard doesn't change their spots or stripes. or Because it's like this person, the outside looks grand, but the inside's a mess. You're realizing or someone here is realizing this person will not change. They won't. You've got stiff competition in the reverse and skilled player in reverse. It's like I've seen it a hundred times. I, I've seen this before. It's a rerun. It's a repeat. You look good and everything, but you ain't changed any. This person can't play you. Someone here can't play someone. They can't. You were in someone here was insecure about it off jump. Like, I don't know if this could be healed. Like, there was some violations of contract in the recent past and someone tried to heal it. For all intents and, pur and, for all intents and purposes, this does look good from the outside, but it's like someone's inside is just ugly. And I feel like somebody here tries really, really hard to not do whatever it is that they're not supposed to be doing. But there's this like urge to do it because they want to. And I've said this before, I'll say it again. Unless someone wants to change, you cannot make them. They're just going to resent you for it, and they're going to do it behind your back. Now, I don't know if there was some gambling issues here or some sexual addiction issues or both. But either way, if this was someone trying to set boundaries, I see where they did. Somebody got slapped in the face with a paper or something, and it's like, man, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to heal this. I've, I will refrain from doing whatever it is I was doing that violated said contract. But I, you can't, 
anytime you take something away from someone, you have to add something. You can't just say, okay, I'm not going to do this anymore and not add something in its place. Because whatever that thing is that they were doing, it was filling a void. So this person, it feels, if someone did set some boundaries in place, this person is falling apart because they don't want it to be over. Coffin in reverse. Mm -mm. I also feel like somebody here is just insecure because I don't know if this is salvageable. I feel like somebody here has outgrown the other person. It's like, yeah, you're good looking and everything, but I've been here and done that before. Someone here does not want it to be over. In the current energy, they don't. They do not. And they are losing it. They're losing it. Coughing in reverse. They do not want this to be over. This person is um, saying that they're going to give up whatever behavior they were doing. You know, I'm hanging my boxing gloves up. I'm no longer a player. I'm no longer going to play games, period. Whatever games they were, if this was like fucking fantasy football, they're not going to do that anymore. Um, I do feel like some very harsh boundaries were laid in place, but I feel like the boundaries, yes, boundaries were laid, but it's, someone's also growing in the process. It's like, it's not just about the boundaries. I feel like I'm outgrowing this. I'm outgrowing this contract. I'm outgrowing you. I'm outgrowing whatever this is, business or pleasure. I'm outgrowing it. So the other party here, no, they do not feel the same way. Or this is you, like old habits just die hard. It's like, yes, I hung my gloves up. Yes, I'm not doing this, but I still have these urges. And I'm finding myself, um, if, I, if you didn't replace something in the place of whatever you took out, cough in reverse. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Someone's having a heart, like say you gave up smoking. This is very hard to give up because it's like I'm having these tantrums, these outbursts. Yeah. You're realizing that this, someone here is now. Someone's realizing the addictions that they have. This was an addiction, whether it's uh, sexual or gaming, it feels very uh, sports, gambling, or sexual, or smoking, anything we're doing that we're not supposed to be doing. They're having a hard time coping with it because they are codependent. They're realizing that this, whatever this was, played a bigger role in their life than what they thought it did. It's hard, old habits die hard. Die hard. Okay. Yeah, because whatever this addiction is, it's very fulfilling. It is. Addictions bring us pleasure. Be it temporary, it does. Now, someone does understand their ways. They know that it's toxic. They know it's an addiction. They, they can see it for what it is, but... It, Paradise, happiness, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. This person enjoys it. It's their fantasy. It gives them a moment of, you know, like say you come home and you enjoy playing uh, games. Or you enjoy smoking. You enjoy whatever you're doing that you're not supposed to be doing with this addiction. You're someone here is having a very hard time giving it up. They're heartbroken. Um, this is harder to give up than what they thought it would be. In the future, wish granted with the money going downhill. Two weeks from now, Taurus. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with the Taurus. Taurus season is April through May like April 20th through May 20th, or I'm forecasting the future. It's this is sometime in April. If not, you could be dealing with a tourist or someone here is. Because I'm getting thrown off with the wish granted and the money going downhill. Two weeks from now, Taurus. There's a lot of protection here. 
you know, if someone tried to lay some boundaries in play, I see where they did it. It's like, I don't care about that contract. I don't care if we're married. I don't care what the contract says. I don't care. I don't care. You know, Taurus representing the bull, they're very stubborn and they will fight for what they want. That's exactly what I'm seeing. And whoever kind of, I don't want to be a player no more. This person, good luck, man. Wish granted, money going. Somebody's going to drop some money. I don't know if it's around the holidays, but they're going to, wish granted, they're going to drop some money. They're going to invest two weeks from now. They're trying to protect some type of investment. Protection, needing to stay safe. They're trying to protect their investment. They are going to fight for what they love. It's interesting because you've got the glut. In the present moment, this person's kind of giving up. Maybe this person's in their addiction phase. I feel like somebody here did move on from something, but they're quickly realizing that this was an addiction, a fantasy. They don't want something to be over. I'm not one of those readers that give y'all pipe dreams either, but in the future, I do see someone trying to protect their investment. Uh, the gloves are definitely coming back on. Fighting for what you love, claiming what is yours. Love is a battlefield. Protection coming out with it, side by side. Um, this person is going to start being up someone's ass. I would be careful here because this person is codependent. I feel like this person gets code they're dependent very easily. This person is going to, they feel like they're going to fight for you know, love is a battlefield. So it's like, I'm going to bug this person to shit. I'm expecting a new beginning. But here's the deal. Someone is getting caught. Especially with this camera. Someone learning from the past, making memories, dragonfly, and you had a lot of that. It kept trying to pop for you in this other deck, the, uh, other deck, uh, the Phoenix. Now you got dragonfly. A lot of this realignment stuff. I have someone here heartbroken. Like, no, I took my contract seriously. I do feel like the outside was grand. Somebody looked like paradise, but there was a lot of heartbreak and addiction in there. And I feel like someone here may drop some money on you. Someone here will, but that's going to be their attempt at claiming you, fighting for what they want. This person ain't gonna go away. This person is definitely expecting a new beginning. I do feel like something's going down. It's a wish granted two weeks from now. Finding out, finding out with the camera. There's something here being exposed. Somebody is bugging the shit out of you. They want a new beginning, but there's something about you that's like, man, I can't tell. I've, you know, this person plays too many games. I can never tell sugar from salt with this person. One minute they're trying to do the right thing. The next minute they're letting their 
addictions override. And there's something, there's some type of evidence in the future that can't be shook. Things coming to light, finding out. Either that or someone's like, man, they're going to lay all their cards on the table. Like, look, this is what I did. I'm trying to align myself with your values. This is how serious I am. I'm dropping some money on you. The proof is in the pudding. Like, you know, this is a keepsake. Like, this is something, this is valuable. have somebody desperately fighting for the other party they want to heal this heal 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 in the current energy I don't think that you see this coming because there's so much heartbreak here old habits dying hard this person there was an ending Shekinda somebody does not want it to end you also feel like this person will not change. Like they're never going to be able to change. They're telling me that they will not change. Coffin in reverse. Good luck. This person has too many demons. They have too many addictions that they're battling with that they love. It's hard to quit old habits when you love, when you consider these habits paradise. You enjoy doing all this shit. It breaks my heart, but. I don't know if somebody's like, you know what, uh, now's just not the time for us to be together. You know, maybe we should just break up. It hurts me to do so, but I can't give up what I want to do. In the future, I do see somebody dropping some money. Or they're going to drop this Taurus. I do have somebody looking through a camera roll as well at the better days, you know? We'll see where it goes, but that's what I'm seeing. It, it feels kind of love, love reading. is some type of a business thing like a work thing I don't know if somebody's getting caught up at work doing something they're not supposed to be doing um, I would keep whatever you need, con contract agreements, I would keep everything, like texts or whatever. This person you don't trust, there's a contract, there's some type of relation here, relationship here I do not trust, because you cannot tell this person sugar from salt. This person, um, they reflect you. Like what, this is somebody who would mimic your gestures, your posture. They're a codependent. So they would, um, they would mirror your body language, mirror your gestures, mirror your way of speaking. Uh, someone here could start sending you like old pictures or something. Yeah, this is a legal issue. Somebody is burning up a contract. Some type of legal issue. It feels like a divorce. Wedding rings with a healing heart. It's like, um, Pisces, this has been coming up for you a lot. Are you, didn't I do a reading like this for you about y'all going to some type of therapy? I have it here with the therapy. I see y'all in therapy. Did somebody here try family therapy or something? I mean, I see it here. Healing heart with the wedding rings, being insecure. I see it. Y'all sitting in with a counselor or something. And I, I know that 
Now I remember the cover of the photo of the couple Pisces. If that wasn't you, it was Gemini, but I'm pretty sure it was you. Somebody here is giving up old habits. They are. They're promising paradise. This person's very genuine. They're heartbroken. They're really putting in the effort. Because somebody in the recent past ain't playing. It's time to move on with burning this contract. They're not playing. And they're saying it like, look, it's no hard feelings. My heart's breaking through this too. With the justice card, this is a huge legal issue. So I do have somebody here sitting in with a counselor or something or a lawyer going over, you know, the new expectations. Yeah, Hierophant, this is definitely legal counsel. I don't know if parents are getting, like, in-laws are going to get involved now. Uh, definitely the court system for sure. Uh, if you do have to go to court with this person, you, this person's going to have an emotional outburst at court. If this is like a divorce hearing or something, they're going to have an emotional outburst. They do, they do not want this to be over. They are going to ask the judge to put them in some type of addiction program. Uh, this addiction program is some type of paradise. And I'm telling you, I had that before for you. Where y'all went to some type of um, one of these facilities that is like out there in paradise. Like in the Bahamas, Tahiti. I don't know where y'all go. But it's where we go for heart. It's where heartbreaking people go. That their relationships are falling apart. They don't want it to be over. Especially with this fulfilling a, a fantasy. Like this is a beautiful place. Somebody here is definitely uh, seeing their violent tendencies. They're seeing their manipulative, manip, their manipulator. They're seeing their manipulativeness. Uh, wherever y'all went, the outside was beautiful, but there was some ugly things discussed there. The hierophant. Um, I do see some serious legal issues here, and I do see the world card. This new cycle. Um, that we're celebrating. I don't know if somebody here is celebrating being single. I'm celebrating without my girls. Somebody's going to bring in some new evidence of someone partying. We'll see where it goes. Aligning yourself with the universe and the world card. This could be at the beginning of the year. Especially with the three of cups. Um, this could be around Taurus season. April, May, April for sure. You know, things don't heal overnight. I do have a judge or higher counsel getting involved. Um, I, if this is a divorce that someone's filed, it's not going to come easy because somebody here is going to fight it. They do not want it to be over. This person wants to fight for their, I'm telling you, it feels marriage. They want to fight for their marriage. They do. They don't want to give up. I do feel like somebody here is really trying hard to turn a new leaf, but the other person has heard this all before. I've heard it before that you're going to be a new you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's here really laying on the guilt too with the camera. They're really reminiscing like, don't you recall all these years together? They're really trying to change the way the other person sees them. In this new cycle, man, you take it for what you want, but 
they really want you to see them as a fun, like, can we just go back to having fun? Before it was all this fighting and trying to catch somebody in a lie. Yeah, somebody's getting served. In the recent past, somebody got served in papers. Um, somebody came to your door and you've been served. Absolutely. Eight of Wands reverse. Oh boy, this didn't go over well, did it? Mm -mm. It did not. No. It sure didn't. This was like a domestic dispute with our spouse. This feels like a domestic, you know, I don't know if I have a spouse here accusing the other person of being jealous or it's just a lot of back and forth communication from a spouse or in-laws that is um, not so friendly. It's not. Someone also feels like this shit has just dragged on forever. Can we, can we get with the program? It's just going on forever at this point. Somebody talks about a lot of shit that's just irrelevant. It's like, man, the outside looks grand, the inside's a mess. Somebody talks a lot of shit out of jealousy. I don't know if this person was cheated on, but they feel like whatever this is that the other person's doing is no competition for them. Mm -mm. I don't know if there was a stripper involved or what this is. Someone here does not want it to be over, so they kind of, whatever they say to their spouse, I do feel some jealousy here. I do feel some domestic violence here. I do, honey, I do. I feel like this is somebody sobbing. Healing heart, heartbroken, there is just so much sobbing. RIP in reverse, they don't want this to be over. They're falling apart, they're losing it. I'm your wife, I'm your spouse. There's a lot of jealousy here. There's a lot of disputes. I mean, this has got to, this, if this goes to court, it's going to be ugly. I feel like somebody here is telling higher counsel, a lawyer or a judge, hey, listen, it's been nonstop jealousy and disputes. Um, this person won't change. I've caught them countless times. They could cry until, you know, they could cry a river. Um, You know, what about my hurt? I've been deeply hurt in this separation as well. I've been lost. I've also been grieving. While I had to watch someone go off into paradise, you know, this person has done something outside of the contract. Absolutely, they've done something that violated a wedding band. And it's like, man, the only way I can heal my heart is to file this paperwork. Or if y'all tried some type of counseling, y'all went away somewhere. I do see wherever this was, shit got ugly there. There was more disputes, more um, heartbreak there. Wherever y'all went, there was layers of addiction, uh, layers and layers of it. Like you may not have realized how much was going on. It does feel like domestic violence. It feels like gambling, throwing money down the drain, uh, dancers, strippers, sexual issues. I mean, it feels like a lot. Like someone, wherever y'all went, you learned more than what you thought. And it's like, oh my God, I just, I, <laughs> somebody here is just done. Like, I don't want to play anymore. I don't. Somebody here is also feeling quite numb. It's like, I'm just going to enjoy my vacation. I'm heartbroken. I feel numbness here. I'm numb. I don't know if somebody got their lip split. You know how, like, if somebody bats you in the lip and your lip kind of 
kind of get that bump bump on it and it and it goes numb you know <laughs> you know you can't really feel your lip there um <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. I mean I do feel two different people grieving for different reasons Somebody here could have got their lips split. I'm just saying. Here's pregnant in the future they are now I don't know if you know about it now but they are or they will be or something somebody's having a baby y'all you go see the, a whole baby baby shire you will see the whole baby shire for sure I got it too many times Somebody's getting caught up. Look, it's just too many times with the pregnant belly. Um, I don't know if this is a baby mama. Somebody here wants a new beginning. They are hell bent on getting this person caught up. Um, it makes me feel like all's fair in love and war that um, if somebody's trying to like get along with somebody's baby mom during the holidays, I don't know, man. In this cycle, here's what I'm going to tell you. In this, uh, without drawing too many conclusions, in this new cycle in the future now, you will see a whole baby shower. You're going to see a whole birthday party. And you won't see somebody um, pregnant. Good gravy. I feel like there's a woman here that's become kind of violent, um, more emotional than what she normally, because she's pregnant. Her hormones are crazy. In the future, I don't know. I'm just going to tell you this. Right around uh, the May season, start planning that baby shower, baby. Somebody here, yo. Yeah. You're going to be having a baby shower in, April, in probably May, April, May. Yeah, I don't know if you get knocked up like right now. I mean, I guess that would make you five, six months by then. Boo. Some of yours knocked up. But I got to tell you, when I get knocked up, I get the Akon sign locked up. They won't let me out. Oh, now, somebody here is fighting. I, I feel like somebody did not want this to be over, so they knocked the other person up. Now, if you don't want to get pregnant, boo -boo, I'm just letting you know what I see. Wish granted, somebody's dropping something. I don't know if it's a whole load or a, or a ring, but two weeks from now, I see somebody get knocked up. See, this is their way of fighting for what they want. They want this new beginning. And with this condom, mm -mm, somebody's not wearing it. Especially with the salt or sugar. Yeah, it's real salty, all right. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have been praying to knock the other person up. Um, there's a keepsake here. You want to know what that keepsake is? It's a pregnancy test. You will find out you're knocked up. Somebody's getting knocked up. Um, I do feel like you will be happy. I do. I see a perfect family here. In this cycle, I just see people getting along, doing the get along, and there's a perfect little family here, and somebody is now a mom. You're going to get caught. Somebody here, they really want this new beginning so bad. I do not think that y'all, in the present moment, things have been far from paradise. I don't know if y'all went on this little vacation and you got knocked up there. I don't know.
all I can tell you is uh, it kind of feels like the Taurus season. You will be doing the whole baby shower bit. And if that's not it, um, I got somebody's baby mama here dropping some knowledge on you. They are, because they feel like it's all fair and love and war. And I do see some pictures coming to light about someone and their sexual escapades with third parties. And someone got pregnant. I mean, honestly, I, I really feel like there's been a lot of domestic issues within a marriage here. I see y'all really trying to heal things, but there's been a lot of issues, a lot. I do see somebody dropping some money on something for you within the next two weeks, whether it's a ring or a load or what they're doing. Uh, but this is their way of fighting for what they want. I don't know if this person's been bugging you to have sex more lately. They are not pulling out. They're not wearing a condom. They're not. This person could be telling you they're wearing a condom or that they're pulling out. They aren't. This person's been wishing for um, a baby. Locked up, they won't let me out. You're gonna find out. The keepsake is going to be that um that pregnancy test, boo. I see a whole baby shower in the future. I'm, I mean, I'm just keeping it a buck with you. If you don't want to get pregnant by this person, I see where y'all been having some issues. Legal and otherwise, okay? A lot of legal issues. A lot of domestic issues where there's um, domestic violence. A lot of jealousy. A lot of allegations. A lot of nasty text messages back and forth. It's uh, talking about somebody's addictions. The other person here is begging for them not to leave them. The, I got somebody else saying, go be with your hoes. Go to the casino. Go to the bar. Go, go beat on somebody else. Go mistreat someone else. Uh, I also have some family here reaching out on behalf of someone else. I don't think that they're very nice to you either. You have had some domestic issues with this person's family as well. It, it just ain't been good, boo. It has not. Uh -uh. Either way, I see a new mommy. Whether it's you or someone else, somebody here. New mommy. Especially with the dragonfly, new mommy. That's a new birth for sure. Adapt and change, heal. Yeah, there's some new, honey. All I can say is if you're pregnant, there's more to it than just y'all, okay? Especially with all this aligning yourself with the universe. You know, for whatever reason, this baby's very special to God. You know, Hierophant is uh, usually my God card. I feel like somebody here would have been praying to God too. Like, man, I'm so heartbroken. Heartbroken, falling apart. I don't want this to be over. This person's just been fantasizing. I mean, obsessing about it. They've been talking to God about all the domestic issues y'all having. You know, somebody's wish is getting granted. They're dropping something. Uh, it does feel like a, a big gift. Now, I don't know if this is the stork's gift or a wedding ring or something or both, but it's two weeks from now. This person, you, they're doing something with you, baby. They're doing something with you.
Okay. Yeah, there's some type of legal issue here. Y'all go somewhere. Y'all fought the whole fucking way there, huh? And this car. Y'all fought the whole way there. One of you didn't. The other one just kind of sat and took it. The other one kind of sat and took it. Like, yep, I'm on the hook. I deserve it. This person kind of just... Also, I have somebody here denying everything, like everything that this person was accusing them of. They kept saying, who? Who? Somebody's insecure because the other one's still married. Fought the whole way there. How am I going to get myself out of this? Well, now... You can't blame this person for being jealous and shit and all these domestic problems on top of all this other shit, gambling and addictions and Somebody takes this person to, like, higher counsel to deal with their domestic issues. Something shocking is revealed there about somebody's money. I don't know if they blew a lot of money. I got somebody's family here very, very jealous, causing a lot of fucking issues within somebody's relationship. I mean, they call, they accusing this person of every fucking thing under the sun. I mean, I see it with the coffin in reverse. This person does not want it to be over. They're desperately heartbroken. Whatever this is, this higher counsel, there's, you know, there's just been a lot of issues in this marriage. Right now, it's just like, oh my God, it's the tower. It's like, this will never be the same. Oh my God. I see a lot of problems with money right now. I don't know if this person lost a lot of money in a gambling thing I don't know if this person owes the IRS they owe the government a lot of money like our home is being threatened there's liens on our property or something oh my goodness y'all can't take all of them, baby. You gotta flip them up for me, okay? I'll take one every once in a while, but not all of them, okay? Flip them up. Okay, don't get mad at me. Shoot. Get mad at me, boo. I be working for you, booski. Yeah, this, yeah, girl. know if this is somebody's like third party coming to you this person's been cut the fuck off they've been creating a lot of issues in this they've been creating a lot of domestic issues in the marriage um this person was cut off drastically and now they are on the outside looking in i don't know if this person's literally beating on your windows threatening to burn your house down uh, they just they creating a lot of hell i don't know if this is family doing this or a third party okay either way third party is just an interfering energy there's a third party interfering interfering energy here for sure i also feel like i i just have it too many times 
third party interfering energy being somebody's gambling issues or someone's sexual deviance. I don't want to call it too early that somebody's sexual deviance, but you know, I don't want to eliminate it either, either, either. somebody here arguing about money a lot you're all arguing about it a lot legal matters I think y'all been spending money having a great time uh, one of you here has been focused on maintaining your looks very confident getting myself back into shape very busy running errands. I got a jillion things to do, and then boom, uh, your mom. Your mom. I mean, you're very good looking, baby. This could happen while you're under the influence, you know, having a good time, celebrating something really just not paying attention. You're so caught up look, not thinking about anything else, you just aren't paying attention. Pisces, y'all. Who in the fuck? I mean, I see somebody adding to the family for sure. This person's been under a lot of stress, running a lot of errands. Something does come out to light. <laughs> this person did take quite the risk. And I do see somebody, some child getting added to the family here. I just don't know if somebody's been juggling two different women. Either way, somebody's pregnant here. Um, they are. Now, be it you or... You know, I feel like I got a married person here. They don't want it to be over, but wait, there's more. There's a pregnancy here. Now, either that's you or this, that's a third party pregnancy. I mean, I, at this point, I'm just hoping somebody hasn't been flirting with family. I do see a lot of domestic disputes and jealousy and shit over family. Uh, nice nasties here. Hope you have a good time with whomever. You're not, this is the nice nasty. A lot of jealousy going on in the family. A lot of domestic disputes. This is shocking. I see the holidays here. I see a pregnancy. I see a woman here with the glow. Absolutely, she's got a glow. 
I see somebody announcing a pregnancy. I mean, I don't know if this is two different women pregnant at the same time. Man, there's just a lot going on. I, I see heavy pregnancy there, though, a lot of it. I mean, like, I don't know if this is a mom and a daughter pregnant at the same time. I just see, I feel like it's more than one pregnancy. Either way, I have a pregnancy here. Uh, I feel like somebody here is very lighthearted when they drop the bomb about um, being pregnant. They're trying to be very lighthearted about it. Mm -hmm. They're going to do it in a very casual way. You wouldn't have suspected this person for being pregnant because they're in, they don't look any different. They're very confident. They could work out. They're in shape. They're vibrant, but there's definitely a glow about this person. Yeah, this person's been more stressed out than usual, maybe more bulkier than usual. Like, well, maybe it's just because this person works out, they're putting on bulk or weight. No, no, no. This person took a risk and they added to the family. I think this person's been hitting around about it. Somebody's pregnant. It's gonna be a shock because I don't think this person's been left behind and they've been really nasty and mean. There's been financial issues. This person's been somewhat on the outside looking in. They're pregnant in the future, pregnant. I don't know about who, but somebody's gonna get their a bomb drop on them. Um, needing to stay protected, fighting. Somebody's gonna fight for what they want, all right, but they're they're gonna fight by not wearing a condom, not pulling out. This person's um, very, very sweet, but you, there's an issue here with not being able to tell if it's um, looks can be deceiving. Like, no, I saw him put the condom on. I don't think so, baby. I don't think so. Mm -mm. There's something here you need to reflect back on. I don't know if somebody here has been, Lord forbid I say this, adapt, change, heal, perception, learning from the past, making memories, reminiscing, keep sake, keepsake, keepsake. I don't know if somebody's keeping somebody's stuff, you know, that's nasty, but that's what it feels, I don't know now. I don't know if they kept somebody's stuff, like they kept their, you know, the stuff that's collected in that thing. I'm serious, because it's, it's a keepsake. They're using it as a keepsake. Things coming to light, finding out. It's like, it's not possible. Well. I don't know. I just think somebody really didn't want it to be over. Somewhere here, somebody here just does not want things to be over and that's gonna be their way of um, locking someone down. Locked up, they won't let me out. Nope, nope, not going nowhere anytime soon. Somebody wanted to leave, you're not going anywhere anytime soon. So, Pisces, I don't know about that. This person I think does look very good. I just don't think you can tell if they're pregnant. You know, 
I don't even know if this person knows, honestly. But um, they will. See if I can get you any last. Yeah, definitely a baby. Absolutely. Ace of Cups. See, if somebody's. This is a new baby. Three of Pentacles. They want to work. They've been working together. They've been planning for a new baby. Three of Pentacles. They're planning for a new baby. Mm, I don't know. Somebody is. Somebody's working on a new baby situation. They've really put a plan together to show you their true feelings. Uh, they also want a child. Pisces. Oh, yeah. The hangman. Um, with the emperor. Uh, this is a dude that don't want to let go. Either that or, listen, there's a dude not leaving anytime soon. That's all I'm going to say. The, the emperor is a father. He ain't going nowhere no time soon. He plans on hanging around for a bit. Or he can plan on hanging around for a bit. Uh, somebody here is not going nowhere because you are the daddy. Yeah. Yep. No forward movement for the emperor. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. This lady again, she's very attractive. Extremely attractive. Lady's attractive. Yeah, I feel like there's a guy here. He probably already has kids. There's an attractive woman here. I mean, extremely attractive. Here's all this obsession. I just have a dad here. Listen, he's got addictions. He, he's he got stuff that's kind of keeping him on the hook. He is obsessing about this uh, female. He's very obsessive about her. He finds her extremely attractive. Okay. Yeah, but see, right. there's a lot of bad memories here of past toxic addictions, okay? A lot of them. There's been some toxic situations here. Um, also, with the Six of Cups in reverse, Six of Cups can be kids. Uh... There could have been some bad situ bad memories around the children arena, meaning that someone here didn't go through with a pregnancy. They chose not to. With the two of wands, they came to the fork in the road as to what action they were going to take. Um, there was a lot of unhealthy in the recent past I see a lot of unhealthy addictions a situation just not being ideal this is a bad memory nobody likes to reflect on it but um, I just see where this was a hard decision to take action on In the future, I see a gentleman here that's more stable. He's more grounded. He's a better provider. He's settled down. Stability's there, like financial stability's there. I see a lot of arguing in this car. There's a lot of arguing in the car. Uh, I mean a lot. 
boy, I mean a lot. My God. Like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What action are we going to take? I see a lot of pettiness. Like, this definitely could have got violent. You know, as violent as a woman hitting on a dude could be. I mean, it's, you know, somebody could be calling the other person fake and a snake and gold digger or whatever. I mean, a lot of cussing and a lot of carrying on. A lot of hollering and a lot of cussing and carrying on. Wherever y'all went. In this car ride. About some about what someone was doing. About what they were going to do. Because it's two of wands, page of wands. Meaning, whatever decision y'all made. It was a very uncomfortable car ride. It was uh, people being petty, people cussing, not getting along in this car ride. Ultimately, y'all made a decision. Someone here made a decision. Page of Wands. You made a decision. Whatever it was, there's been an extreme amount of arguing and a lot of bickering and a lot of blame. It was bad memory. But there was a lot, there was a lot of toxic addictions here. I have some very bad, you know, I don't know if there was kids here that was already a concern. Six of Cups in Reverse talks about kids. It also talks about bad memories. Like, I don't know what the fuck we're going to do. What action are we going to take? I don't know if somebody here already has kids. They were problematic. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. I also feel like somebody here is already... There's just a lot of nastiness. Bickering in this car ride. Wherever this car ride is, the chariot. Yeah. Wherever y'all went to do whatever y'all did. Bad memory. Okay. A lot of arguing about money, stability, how, you know, who's going to pay for this, who's going to pay for that. I don't know, Pisces. I think this gentleman thinks about it a lot more than what you're aware of. The emperor with the hangman. The way he looks at a situation. This person could, uh, with the devil card, uh, especially with the six of cups in reverse, this is not a fond memory for this person. This person is usually a lot more grounded, a lot more stable than that. They have more convictions. They're more disciplined. They know the right way and the wrong way of doing things. Whatever this was with the devil card, it kind of haunts them with the six of cups in reverse. It's a bad memory is what I'm going to tell you. Okay. So, good luck and everything. Pisces. Take care.